Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. So in this video, we're going to learn basic JavaScript. We're going to learn how to use JavaScript to create DOM elements and manipulate DOM elements on the web page. And what better way to learn JavaScript than to create a simple project? So in this video, we're going to create this Pokemon card pack opener. And you don't have to use Pokemon cards. You can use any cards you want, Yu-Gi-Oh, baseball, up to you. But in this video, we're going to use Pokemon. And if I click on this pack, it will open up and give me 11 cards. And the last card should always be a uh, rare card. Now, I don't know how the rarity works. You can adjust it later yourself after this video. But um, yeah, that's the project. And you might think it doesn't look too nice right now, especially on a desktop screen. But if I click inspect and view this on an iPhone or any mobile device, and if I click on the pack, it will open up and I would scroll down on my phone and see what my cards are. And the last one would give an element of surprise like cards usually do. And so, yeah, this can be a little fun project that you can expand on. And for those of you who are curious, I got my assets off this website. All right, let's begin by creating three files. So index.html, style.css and script.js. So let's start with the index.html. We have doc type html, html, and then we're going to create a head tag. And within here, it's just basic setup, meta car set, utf8, meta name equals viewport, content equals width equals device width, initial scale 1.0 and then let's give a title to our web page so I guess Pokemon cards and then let's link our style sheet and script so link rel style sheet href style dot css and script source script.js okay oh and uh, i just want to point out i do have my folder of pokemon cards and the naming is pretty much uh, base at 1 through 102 i believe yep and you can find a completed project in the video description below but i definitely recommend that you still follow along so just download that repo and get the pokemon cards and just follow along all right now let's add the body so in the body i'm going to create a div and give uh so this one would be for the pokemon pack so the id would be pokemon pack and we're going to use this id to pretty much identify this tag so that when we create a click handler we're going to see if the user clicks on the tag with this id the pack will open so in here we're going to add an image and the source would be so you want to go to the folder so pokemon cards and it'll be base set pack i believe yep this one all right so if i save and i open up uh the folder and by the way these are what the cards look like number one through 16 i believe should be the rare cards so that's what we'll use later but if i go back and i double click on the html you can see we have our web page so something's not right let's do it this way dot slash pokemon cards and there we go so yeah, make sure you add that dot slash. It depends on your operating system, but this would always uh, kind of guarantee that you're starting from this directory and looking for a folder called Pokemon cards. Anyway, let's also add two more cards as an example. So here I'm going to have an ID of Pokemon cards opened. And within here, I'm just going to add two Pokemon cards. So let's have a div class of Pokemon card which we're going to use this class to just style the height and width. So for here, let's just have one image and set the ID to zero. And we're going to set the source to uh, what card should we use? Uh, let's use a random one. How about this one? And then let's also copy and paste this and create another card and set this ID to one. And just remember IDs need to be unique. So we're going to have IDs from 0 to 10 to represent the 11 cards you can get from the pack. All right, so we refresh. 
you can see we have our cards. Now let's use CSS to style it. So styling is going to be pretty simple. So in the body, we're going to just do text align center. So for some reason, images are considered as text. So if you do text align center, it will center the images. And then let's also apply a style for the Pokemon cards. So we're going to do Pokemon card and we want to style the image within the Pokemon card div. So we want to style this image and not specifically this tag. So we're going to specify all images within Pokemon card. We're going to set the width to 300 pixels, height to 412 pixels, and we're going to apply a margin top. So there's some spacing between the cards. So we're going to put 10 pixels. All right, now if you save it and refresh, you can see this is what we have. All right, so now we're going to use JavaScript to populate these cards. So we're not going to do it like this. We're going to use a for loop instead. All right, let's begin coding in JavaScript. So when the page loads, we want to call this function and this function will get the pack. So document dot get element by D Pokemon pack. So by doing this, we are getting this tag, this one over here, and we're going to assign a click handler. So pack dot add event listener. It's going to listen for a click. And when it gets clicked on, we'll call an open pack function. Let's create an open pack function. And for now, we're just going to alert. So this will create a pop-up on our web page. And let's just say car pack open. So now if I refresh this and I click on this, you can see the click handler works. So we'll click on this image or this div and we get this alert. So instead of having that pop up, we want to actually uh, select the cards and display them. So we should have 11 cards. So we're going to use a for loop for that. For let i equal zero, i less than 11, i plus plus. And we're going to create a div tag. So let card div is equal to document dot create element div. So what that does is allows us to create a div tag. So basically this, and then we want to apply a style class. So card div dot class list dot add Pokemon card. So it's going to take this div and add Pokemon card to it. Let's also create another tag. So let card image is equal to document dot create element image. And we're going to give the image an ID, right? Because we're going to have IDs from zero to 10 for the 11 cards. So card image dot ID is equal to I. And now let's also add a image source. So card image dot source is equal to dot slash Pokemon cards base set. And then here we want to have a random number, but for now I'll just set it to 10. All right. So we created our image tag and now let's put the image tag inside this div tag. So card div dot append child card image. And then finally, let's add this div tag within this Pokemon cards open tag. So document dot get element by D Pokemon cards opened dot append child card div. So basically we created an image tag and we set the source to Pokemon cards base set 10 dot JPEG. And then on this line, we set the ID to one or zero. In this case, it starts at zero 
And then this line, we take this card image tag and we put it inside this div. And then we get this Pokemon cards open div and we place this inside here. So you can see why we use a for loop because we can quickly generate these tags 11 times without having to manually do it over here. So if I refresh and I click on this, you can see we have a bunch of cards. Now we need to randomize these cards. So I'm going to create a random number function. So function random number and I'm going to add a min and max and the reason we're doing this is because again we have some rarity cards so 1 through 16 will be the rare card and 17 to 102 would be the I guess common cards so the formula is return math.seal math.random times max minus min plus min so over here, we're going to get a random number. So let num, let's just set it to one for now. And if i is equal to 10, so this is uh, the ID for the last card, we're going to get a random number between one and 16. So these are the rare cards. Else we set the random number to be from 17 to 102. And then over here, we're going to change this to num dot two string. Okay, let's save. All right, so now if I refresh this and I open this pack, you can see we have uh, random cards. And if I refresh again, there you go. Now the problem here is if I keep click on this, it will open up a lot of cards. So we don't want that to happen, right? So let's add a check for that. So over here, we're going to say let cards open equal to document dot get element by D Pokemon cards open. And we're going to clear it before we open another pack. So while cards opened dot first child, meaning there's a tag within this div. So basically this one over here. While this one still has cards in here, we're going to clear it. So cards open dot first child dot remove. All right, so let's go back. And if I refresh, you can see we have our 11 cards. And if I click again, it will open up another pack of 11 cards. So yeah, I hope you found this video interesting and you learned a lot about JavaScript and manipulating the DOM elements and how to create new ones on the web page. And if you found this video interesting or helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment and consider subscribing. It'll help the channel a lot. And I also have a ton of other content that I'm working on for this channel. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.